Hello, I'm Alan Nesse with a two-part in the tutorial on the new and exciting Scout Trace files. In the first part of this tutorial, I'd like to explain the technique and indications of these files, and in the second part, I'll go through a few cases. The Scout Trace files are developed by Dr. Atrope and Debellion and are sold through Brassler USA. They're designed to replace hand files sizes 10 through 20 in difficult to instrument root canals or normal canals where more efficient instrumentation than hand files is desired. All clinicians know that instrumenting a curved or calcified root canal from a size 8 to a size 20 is one of the most challenging aspects of endodontic instrumentation. Once any uh, canal is instrumented to a size 20, getting it to a larger apical size or shape is a lot easier. The scout race files do this early stage of instrumentation far more efficiently and predictably than hand files and produce a patent canal that your file system of choice can then prepare for obturation. As you know, I currently use the endosequence and the bioarray system as my preferred instrumentation systems but you could use any system to finish uh, canals once the scout race files have been utilized for early enlargement. So what constitutes the scout race system and what are the indications and contraindications for their use? The scout race files have the same geometric design as the regular race files, meaning that they are electropolished, triangular, non-landed files with variable pitch and helical angles. In addition, they have the alternating contact points like the endosequence files. These design features help make a strong instrument that cuts efficiently, stays centered, and does not get sucked down the canal. An assorted pack of scout race files uh, is made up of five individual files. The first three are sizes 10 tips with 02, 04, and 06 tapers, and the last two have sizes 15 and 20 tips with an O2 taper. Now, you don't always have to use every single file in the system. I've found that many combinations can be helpful, with as few as a single file to as many as all five. For the most part, the first three files that are sizes 10 with variable tapers are excellent in managing most type cases. Dr. Strope and Debillion recommend two possible combinations for two separate type canals. For obliterated canals uh, with gentle curvature, they recommend getting sizes 8 hand file to working length, then using sizes 10.02 uh, followed by 10.04 to that length, using gentle strokes at about 900 RPM. Once you confirm the fit of a 15.02 hand file, then you can proceed with endosequence or bioris instrumentation protocol. For cases with severe curvature, they recommend confirming working length with a size 8 followed by uh, sizes 1002, 1502, and 2002 at 600 RPM. Basically, the same thing you would be doing with hand files, except that you're using nitri rotary files at 600 RPM. You then confirm this with a size 1502 hand file before initiating your endosequence and bioarrays protocol. I've found that other possible combinations of these uh, files can also be effective in various cases. Sometimes a single uh, size 1006 file in combination with some uh, crown down instrumentation and widening of the uh, orifice with an orifice shaper uh, can really help your instrumentation later on. I personally use the first three files, sizes 1002, 04, and 06, the most. Basically, once the 1006 file has reached the working length, I can move on to the endosequence and bioarrays and will be able to complete the case very quickly at that point. Fortunately, the files come in assorted or individual size packs and can be ordered uh, individually and also in different lengths for anterior, anterior and posterior teeth. The indications for the use of these files is very simple. Any canal where a size 10 or 15 hand file has difficulty reaching the apex, but a size 6 or 8 hand file does reach the apex. This often means that the mesial root of the lower molars and the buccal roots of the maxillary molars and occasionally uh, curved roots anywhere else in the mouth can benefit from these files. 
So if after using the BioRace 0 and 1 files or any other orifice opener of your choice, you're unable to fit a size 15 file to, uh, to length, but are able to place a size 6 or 8 hand file deep into the canal and achieve length, then that's when you pull out the scout trace files and do some early preparation before using the main files. Prior to the introduction of these files and to the profession, you would be sweating your way with the hand files 8, 10, 15, and 20 before you would even dare introducing a rotary file in the canal. But now, after confirming your length with a size 6 or 8 hand file, you go straight to the scout trace files, and within seconds, you've got a canal to work with. Don't forget, you're not completely abandoning hand files. Sizes 6 and 8 hand files are still necessary prior to introducing this, uh, the scout race files. However, you're effectively shifting your instrumentation sequence to begin with smaller hand files and smaller rotary instruments in order to deal with tighter, more difficult canals. Nighttime files are very flexible in smaller sizes. Therefore, Drs. Trope and DeBillion recommend that the scout race files be used at 900 RPM in order to improve their stiffness. So you will need to boost up your machine's RPM to 900 to achieve the best results. At 300 to 500 RPM, the files are too flexible and buckle when apical pressure is applied. Naturally, people fear the potential for separation at these small diameters. Although it may sound counterintuitive, due to the lower torque requirements, these files are very resistant to breakage. I like to use these files with a one-two picking motion, followed by wiping the flutes. No file is kept in the canal or excessive amount of time or held in one place. Be sure the files are constantly moving in the canal since they are operating at high RPMs. Also remember a basic safety rule which I've made up for all nighttime rotary instruments. Uh, it basically is a safety axiom which states a rotary file should never enter space that has not already been explored by a hand file. Basically, a rotary files should never go into virgin territory and should always be preceded by hand files. Now that could be just a very small hand file such as a size 6 or 8. I also recommend single use for um, um, all scout race files, although I must say that I have used them a couple times in occasions with success. Now let's move to the second part of this tutorial and look at a couple of clinical cases that I've done using uh, the scout race files over the past couple of weeks.